Okay, let's look at our content standards. We're learning to prove triangles are congruent by angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. So we're going to prove theorems about triangles. We're going to use congruence and similarity criteria for triangles to solve problems and to prove relationships in geometric figures. Our mathematical practices are 3 and 5. Previously, you've proved triangles congruent by side, 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 and side, angle, side. Now we're going to use the angle side angle postulate to test for congruence. And we're going to use the angle angle side theorem to test for congruence. We've got one new vocabulary word, an included side. So we've had included angle before. Now notice, because the side is in between, we've got an included side. An included side is the side located between the two consecutive angles of a polygon. Angle side angle congruence says that if two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Thus angle side angle and then our congruent statement. Okay, you might want to take just a moment and draw this picture because we're going to lose it here in a little bit as we're going over this one, they want us to write a two column proof. We're given that L is the midpoint of WE. So what does that tell us about these two pieces? Yes, LW is equal to LE. Very good. And we're also told that WR is parallel to ED. Remember, when you're already always told about parallel lines and we see a transversal, we're thinking some kind of angles are going to be congruent. Okay, our given, so by the midpoint theorem, we can say that WL is congruent to LE. We're given that those two lines are parallel, so alternate interior angles, angle W is congruent to angle E. Do you see that on your picture that you drew for yourself? Okay. So by the vertical angles theorem, we've got angle WLR is congruent to WELD. So by angle side angle, we can list our congruent statement that these two triangles are congruent. Let's check your progress. Fill in the blank in the following paragraph proof. So pause the video for a moment, see what you think, and then come back and check your answer. Did you come up with angle side angle? Very good. We're given about two parallel lines. Okay. About alternate interior angles. It alter another set. So let's see, congruent and then by reflexive property, BD. So we've got the one side that's included between the two angles. Very good. Now there's angle, angle, side congruence theorem. The congruence of two angles and a non-included side are also sufficient to prove two angles are congruent. They want us to write a paragraph proof. We're given NKL is congruent to NJM. We're also told that KL is congruent to JM. Okay, we're to prove that LN is congruent to MN. So angle N is congruent to angle N, and I really don't like naming it this way. I'd prefer to say angle JNK is congruent to angle KNJ. I prefer to see that method. By the reflexive property, Therefore, triangle JNM is congruent to triangle KNL by angle, angle, side. And by corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, LN is congruent to MN. Check your progress. So we need to fill in the blank here. Which one of these can we use for reason? So pause for a moment and study that and see what you come up with. Angle, angle, side. Now you can use congruent triangles to measure distances that are difficult to measure directly. Barbara designs a paper template for a certain envelope. She designs the top and bottom flaps.
to be isosceles. Okay, so top and bottom flaps, they are isosceles triangles that have congruent bases. So notice this base is congruent to this base. If EV, EV is 8 centimeters long, well, that one would be also, wouldn't it? And the height of the isosceles triangle, so from the base to this vertex, is 3 centimeters. Find PO. Okay, you might want to take just a minute to draw this figure so that you can follow along. In order to determine the length of PO, we must first prove that the two angles are congruent. So we're showing that triangle ENV is congruent to triangle POL by angle side angle. So first, we've got a, we've got a side there. Definition of isosceles, those two sides are congruent. By CPCTC, EN is congruent to PO. Now by the transitive property, since this one's equal to EN and this one's equal to EN, then by transitive, these two are congruent. Okay. So since the height is 3 centimeters, now we can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate PO. The altitude of the triangle connects to the midpoint of the base. So each half is 4. So remember that base was 8 inch. Since it's got a midpoint, then each, each little part is 4 centimeters. So we've got 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared using Pythagorean Theorem, so PO is 5 centimeters. Time to check your progress. I'll let you read through this for just a moment, then come back and check your answer. Now, oh, we haven't talked about this one for a lesson or two. Side, side, side. Okay, very good. And finally, concept summary on proving triangles congruent. We've got side, side, side. We've got side, angle, side with the included angle. We have angle, side, angle with included side. And we have angle, angle, side. Now I want you to take just a minute and look at these combinations, the S's and the A's. Which one do you, you see that's missing? Yeah, we don't have any donkeys in the group. There's no angle, side, side. So if you try to prove that, there is no theorem for angle, side, side. So no donkeys in the house. Okay, you're ready to begin the assignment.